Hey Leos, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly readings. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. For Leo, what's going on with you? Messages, please, for Leos, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. For Leos, what's going on this week? We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Lovers. Gemini's energy is here. And we have the Three of Wands. Love is on its way. Uh, <laughs> but are you paying attention? Are you paying attention to it? Three of Wands is, is kind of like you have your back turned or you, you're being distant when it comes to love for some of you. You could also be looking out on the horizon, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for something better. Okay. But I feel like there's a new opportunity this week, possibly for something to come together. Okay. There's a possibility here. Let's get into it. For Leos, what is this energy? Ace of Wands for Leos this week. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Ace of Cups. Here comes new love. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. And we have the uh, Hanged Man, Piscean Energy. So it's like the opportunity is here, but surrounding the opportunity is like, I need, I need time or I need, to, I need to wait or, you know, I, am I ready for this? Am I, am I ready for the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cups? Am I ready for these new offers that are coming in? Show me. Ten of Swords. There's been hurt. There's been pain. There's been an ending. King of Wands, possibly with a, a fellow fire sign. I was about to say air sign. Could be an air sign, but for some of you, a fellow fire sign. Okay. There's been some hurt or pain surrounding this. Um, but it's like offers are coming in now after there's been a lot of hurt or pain. The sun is here. Your energy, Leo. So Leo, it's, it's like you're coming out of this place of being in regret. Maybe you have cried a lot in these past few weeks or, or you were just misunderstood or you didn't understand something rather. And, you know, things seemed a little confusing for you. And it's like coming out of that place. I got the same energy for Pisces. So some of you could have Pisces in your chart, could be dealing with one. But I feel like you're coming into this place of the sun. It's like seeing, learning to see things differently now this week when things have been rough these past few months or past few weeks. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, show me. Seven of Cups is here. Page of Pentacles. And Two of Pentacles. Now it's like you have someone wondering about you. It could be a Taurus, okay? With the energy of the Harfont. Someone is wondering about you and wondering how they can talk. It's like seven of cups. Hmm. Wondering, what should I say? Page of pentacles. Two of pentacles. What should I say to Leo? Someone wanting to talk to you? You could also be wanting to talk to someone. Okay. <laughs> Vice versa. Put the characters where they go. Lovers. Why is that here for Leos? Judgment is here. Okay. Seven of wands. And the Six of Cups. Whoa. Okay. Someone is being a bit stubborn here when it comes to this connection or connecting with you. What is that energy? Knight of Pentacles. Could be a younger Earth sign for some of you. Three of Cups. Mm-hmm. And the Star card. There's Aquarius's energy. Uh, I feel like... <laughs> Someone's going to put up a strong case um, as far as how they feel about you and what they want with you and trying to figure out how to tell you this. Um, but I don't see you turning toward this person. It's like you this week you may still have your back toward this person or the situation. Even though this person, you know, may be wanting to love or wanting to date you or wanting to pursue you, wanting to give an offer. Mm, three of Wands, show me for Leo's. Page of Swords, you're still skeptical because you don't want to be hurt. Yeah, Three of Swords, Page of Swords, and then we have the Tower, kaboom. You don't want stuff to blow up in your face. So you're being distant this week when it comes to love. Page of Swords is here. You're very defensive right now. 
when it comes to your heart. It's like that sword is up, looking around and protecting your heart, okay, because of this. You don't want something to explode. Yeah, show me that energy. Three of Swords, Tower, Four of Cups. Yeah, you're kind of bored with any offers. Uh-huh, King of Cups is here. And Strength Card. Oh, it's like you're investing in yourself. <laughs> you're loving on yourself. I got the same energy for Pisces. Some of you, I'm telling you, if you know your birth chart, look in your chart. And you may have Pisces in your chart. King of Cups with the Strength Card. You are definitely guarding your emotions, okay? And you're taking care of yourself. That's your energy with the energy of the strength, your major arcana, okay? So it's like, uh, I'm bored with uh, any of these offers. I'm not really, really looking, you know, for a major relationship right now. I'm just kind of pampering myself and waiting for something better in the future. Some of you uh, could be investing in your career right now, your money, your work, Show me Leo's energy at this moment. The devil energy. Caps energy is here. Queen of Wands. Oh, yeah. Eight of Cups. So you have this fierceness about you, Leo. Queen of Wands, that's your energy. Eight of Cups. Walking away from old cups. Walking away from anything toxic. You could also be in this energy of... <clears throat> I am the damn boss and nobody can say shit to me. So you may you may be on on some some stuff, you know, this week. <laughs> you may be <laughs> uh in, in this bossy ass energy cuz anytime the devil touches a card, it's like, "Ooh, it takes it to the extreme." Okay? So you could be fiercely independent this week. Wanting to be left alone, Eight of Cups, and feeling like you have to be this way to get jobs done or to, to take care of the household, to take care of yourself, to take care of your kids if you have them. It's like you're stepping into this energy of, I have to be the damn boss, you know? Okay. What is this person's intentions with Leo? Nine of Wands. Eight of Wands. <laughs> okay. Five of Wands. So, okay. What? <laughs> this person, though they want to be with you, they may cause drama. And you may sense that. You may intuitively pick that up, Leo. And you may be like, you know what? I don't want to deal with that. I, I don't want to deal with that. Because this person's intentions, Nine of Wands, Eight of Wands, Five of Wands, that's... <clears throat> very guarded energy and a person who it's like they're confused about what they want to say and so it comes out so jumbled um this person may cause a bit of drama here Ooh, what are their intentions show me a little bit more knight of cups queen of cups okay ten of cups <clears throat> if they can get over you know feeling guarded and confused about what they want to say to you, they can actually get this out. This is what they intend to do. That doesn't mean they're going to do it, but that's what they intend to do. Offer you a cup and offer you happiness, emotional fulfillment with the 10 of cups. Okay. Yeah. What else does Leo need to know in this situation? We have the world. Justice Libra is here and temperance with Sagittarius. I feel like in due time, everything will work out the way it's supposed to. This cycle uh, may be closing out with someone, but I feel like something needs to close out, okay? As the, the world is turning and as <laughs> things are changing for you with the world card, justice is being served and temperance is coming in to help you balance out your emotions when it comes to this person, this situation, Oh, I feel like this person may be a bit threatened by you being so nonchalant. <laughs> I feel like that's the energy that you're taking on. It's like, I don't care, you know, about this person's feelings. I'm worried about myself. And it's kind of like you going into self-protection mode and moving on with your life. And like I said, waiting for something better. 
Yeah. So what's the better? What's coming in? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what other insight can you give us for Leos this week? Support. Wow. Support is coming in, Leo. It says, ask for help. Get more rest. Nurture yourself. And that is what I was showing you with the King of Cups and the Strength card. Investing in your emotions and being very protective over your emotions. Okay? Paying attention to your emotions. What are you feeling? You may have some support coming into your future. Anything else for Leos? Receive. <laughs> Look at that. Receive support. Spirit is like, I said what I said. And it says, ask for help. So some of you, you may need that support. Okay? That doesn't mean it has to be from a lover. This could be from friends, from family. If you're going through something, you may have to open up and let people know like, hey, I'm feeling this way or this is something that I've always been dealing with and I, I want to share that with you, okay, what I've been dealing with. So receive support, accept support. It says be open to receiving goodness. Believe you are worthy of abundance. A gift is coming to you soon, Yes, because at the be very beginning, I said some of you have been waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for things to get better. You've been waiting for something to show up and here it comes. And I think on your last weekly reading, I said um, for some of you, you were getting ready to receive something big. Major <clears throat> changes were coming into your life. Yeah. Okay. One last card for Leos. Advice for Leos. One last card. Let go. Now, that's something I've already said that. That's something that's just confirmation for you guys. Let go. And I feel like you're already doing that. You're walking away from anything that could possibly be toxic with the devil energy. Some of you releasing a Capricorn. But for others of you, you're just learning to let go of outcomes with situations that you no longer have control over. Learning to release that control and walk away and standing on your own two feet as the proud lion, lioness that you are. <clears throat> Alrighty, Leos, that is your energy for this week. Don't forget to like, to share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I do look forward to hearing from you. Take care. Bye.